Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back with my, let me cover my address, <laughs> Sacred Space Crate for August 2022. Yay! Um, sorry, I've been MIA, guys. I worked um, six nights in a row and um, normally I will make my YouTube videos, like I'll get up and then you know, get ready and make my YouTube videos before work. But I decided that I really need to start working on my health, <laughs> getting back into working out. So um, I've been getting up and working out instead. So, oh, I about stabbed myself. So that's why I'm a little like late on doing some of these boxes. But anyways, hello and welcome. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Lisa and on my channel, I like to do lots of witchy things, including unboxings. So, if that sounds like something you might be interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Alright, let's get let's get into the box. Alright, so we always get a calendar. And this is our calendar for the month. Look at the cool artwork. It's like Native American. Did she tell me it was gonna be? You know, it's not like she called me up and was like, hey girl, this is what the box is going to be. That's not what I mean. I feel like it was in the last box. It said something about, yes. So our theme is Native Spirit and something, something smells really good in there. So, all right. So on the calendar, it always has like um, any Sabbaths, like Lunasa, which is over. Um, Maven is next month. So that'll be on that month. But there's um, like moon face stuff in here. So like... Full Moon in Aquarius was on the 11th. Yeah, we kind of got this late, because what is today? Today's like the 18th, so today is last quarter moon, and that was at 11.36 a.m. I'm not sure, oh, it is Central Standard Time. Cool, That was that's my team, my, my time, my time. And it also says that August Full Moon is called the Sturgeon Moon. Right there, if you guys can see that. Okay, so Native Spirit. This month, I want to bring you the spirit of the earth as... Ha <coughs> Hold on. I don't know what I just <laughs> inhaled. <laughs> Let's start over. This month, I want to bring to you the spirit of the earth as has been practiced by Native cultures for centuries. I was raised with these teachings and was ecstatic to find a book, an oracle deck, that not only focuses on those teachings, but includes numerous rituals and is authentic to the culture. A lot of our practices focuses on spirit and nature, so I hope that you find that the items in this box will enhance your magic and relationship with the earth and spirits of the land we live and thrive upon. Keep in mind that this is a very powerful form of magic that can be practiced in all cultures, not just the native culture it is derived from. Super awesome. So... Um, I think I've said this before, but it's been, it's been a while. I did, um, some, like a sweat lodge. I'm sure there's a better name for it. Um, but it was a Native American, I think it was the Lakota tribe. I've done that a couple times where you go and, um, you get into like, like a tent, a teepee, basically. And, um, you sing their Native American, like, song chants, and, you know, they put the hot stones and then pour, like, medicinal, like, water, and then it has, like, other things in it, um, and then, you know, you're in there with the steam, so it's, it is a sweat lodge, um, but it's very spiritual, and, like, the two times that I did it, we had enough people where, like, all the women went together in one, and all the men went together in one, so it was, like, super, like, female, like, bonding, and it was so great. Anyways, I was sitting here thinking I need to, to do another one of those. All right, so moving right along. We have, maybe this is what smells good. We've got some sweet grass, incense, very nice. Do, 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 do. Sweet grass, incense. These beautiful smelling incense sticks were curated with the intention of bringing the spirit of sweet grass into your sacred space. A mixture of succulent sweet grass scent with notes of fresh cut flowers. It's exactly what it smells like. Yum. <laughs> All right, and then we have a little sweet grass braid. 
very nice. Sweetgrass braid. Sweetgrass is sacred to many native cultures. It is believed to be the sacred hair of Ogushnan, Mother Earth, and is often braided. The three sections representing mind, body, and soul. The three sections of the braid represent love, kindness, and honesty. Most Native American, excuse me, that's not what it says. <laughs> Most Native people follow very sacred traditions and believe that when one takes something from the earth, for example, when sweet grass, sweet grass is picked, then an explanation to the spirit about why it is being picked and how it will be used is required. The, excuse me, the explanation is often accompanied by an offering of tobacco in return for the generosity shown by the earth and the plant which shared itself. Sweet grass is used in smudges, healing, or talking circles because it has a healing effect. Its smoke is believed to purify thoughts, the environment, and element... No, that ain't right. I can't read. I mean, never. I can never read. And eliminate bad or negative thoughts. Very nice. Yeah, we when we did um, that, I don't know if you want to call it ritual, we um, gave tobacco offerings. All right. My gosh, I've got lots of crinkle paper for our monster. Ooh, I got a headache, y'all. There is that. Put him right down there. He's looking good. All right, what do we get next? Okay, so I've got one of her salves. This is Horsetail, anti-aging nail growth cuts and wounds. Very nice. And of course I'm gonna smell it, but I don't really expect it to smell like anything. Um, I just like to smell things. Okay, Horsetail salve. Horsetail is an herbal remedy that dates back to ancient, I think I got some on my nose, ancient Roman and Greek times. It was used traditionally to stop bleeding, heal ulcers, and wounds. What have, what I have learned from experience with using horsetail oil and salve is that it has amazing anti-aging effects on my skin. It is also an excellent cuticle salve for faster nail growth. Um, I'm going to put this all over my face. Can I do that? It's anti-aging. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do that. <laughs> All right. Then we have Sunset Tea. And excuse my nails. They've grown too fast. I need to go. I was going to get them done today, guys. My sleep schedule's all jacked to hell. I, um, I tried to go to sleep at a normal hour. And then I woke up at like 1.30 in the morning and I was like, Meh. so <laughs> I stayed up all night and then I didn't wake up till like 4.30 today. Ah, <laughs> oh, the night, the, uh, the life of a night shift worker, right? Okay, where is the tea? I thought I saw it. Sunset tea. After a beautiful nature ritual, settle in with a beautiful cup of sunset tea. This tea is a mixture of hibiscus petals, lemon peel, orange peel, rose hips, and rose petals. Just add one teaspoon tea to six ounce boiling water. Blah, 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 blah. Add honey if desired. Very nice. Can't smell it through there. I don't know what to get. Is this our, okay. I can already see what the, what the, our herb is. <laughs> What's happening with my hair? Oh, I could, I could smell it too. I think I just ran out of this. I might have like one more of this left in my shop. So we've got white sage leaf, as you can see in there. Oh, put that over there. All right. White sage leaf. White sage leaves are native to Southern California, but they are sacred in nature to the natives of Southern California. These leaves were harvested specifically for this box by a friend of mine who farms white sage in Southern California, specifically for the use in ritual practices. I love that I can offer such a magical plant that is not only ethically grown, but grown with the intention of using for magic. White sage was traditionally used for ceremonial or medicinal purposes. The most well-known of these uses is burning it to release its fragrant smoke. While the term smudging is often applied to this process, the origin of that term actually comes from medieval Europe. A more accurate term would be smoke cleansing. The smoke produced has traditionally been used to purify or cleanse objects by fanning it across the object. 
It is also used similarly to pur purify or cleanse people in a similar, similar fashion. Tribal spiritual leaders might have special fans or feathers which they would use for this purpose depending on the specific tribe's religious views. While it is easiest and most common to bundle the leaves and stems together and dry them for this purpose, they can also be burned individually. Crumpled, crumbled or powdered leaves can be burned as powdered incense too. The smoke is used in many other traditional ceremonies. Uh, Olan people use it as part of the preparation for and during their bear dance, for example. Ka ka uh, how do you say that? Ka Kaula, ka Kaula, I don't know. Bird singers often use it before they sing the traditional songs. It is an integral part of many Californian tribal religions. Uses like these tend to be overshadowed in the public eye by the popularity of smudging with white sage for its cleansing purpose. Yeah, I, we they smudged us um, before I did that ceremony thing, my jigger. Okay. Next, we have a sachet. Ooh. So we've got some agate. Botswana agate is considered the royalty in the agate family. The meaning of Botswana agate, my mom and my sister, <laughs> they're texting me, um, is to accept and receive. Botswana agate is a stone that helps you to find deep inner peace and serenity no matter what your life situation may be. It will help you to move on and leave the past behind. Botswana Agate will help you to accept the past, present, and future. It will remind you that all things happen for a reason and it is better to let go of resentment towards people who may have hurt you in the past. Botswana Agate is named after the country in Southern Africa where it is mined. It is also known as the Sunset Stone because of its ability to retain sunlight and give comfort to people during dark and lonely nights. Botswana agate is also a stone of intuition. It enhances your psychic abilities by helping you to trust your instincts. Botswana agate is protective and very lucky. Make sure my phone, oh my gosh, <laughs> make sure, maybe here, I'm going to turn on silent for a minute. There we go. <laughs> Make sure that you have it with you when you're choosing your lottery numbers, picking a bet on a contest, or composing your entry for an online raffle. Your chances of winning will be greatly increased, and you will attract lots of good luck energies. It is an excellent talisman if you want to draw in more prosperity and abundance to your life. Yes, let's do that. Um, I don't know if you guys, it's, I don't know if it's going to translate, but there's some, some banding around here. I love agate. Like carnelian and just agate in general like I bought a few things for my shop that um, are like agate and then there's like druzy in it Ooh. I have added um, some of the things that didn't sell in my live sales I've added to my Etsy store and that's linked below it says my witchy store it's Luna Moth Creations Co as well on Etsy and since I'm saying it I'm also the same thing <laughs> on Instagram and TikTok I'm like I'm not really good at TikTok Basically, whatever you see on Instagram, it's going to be on TikTok. I mean, maybe I will learn that stuff at some point. I need, like, a social media manager in my life, but I can't afford it. <laughs> One of these days. Um, yeah, because, I mean, like, I know I could make some really good videos. I just need somebody to help me do it. <laughs> I mean, like, the content. Like, I could be, you, you guys know, I'm like a complete goofball. Um, I just, I just don't understand TikTok just yet. <laughs> All right. So then we have tree spirit ritual spray. All right. I'm going to spray and then we'll read about it. Okay. Oh, holy moly. Oh girl. Do some more. Woo, that smells good. Oh man. All right. What is... Where, when, why? <laughs> okay, tree spirit ritual. Did I show you guys? I showed you, right? I showed you. Tree spirit ritual. Ritual spray. It's got like some stuff around it. Okay, we'll put the cap on it right now. 
Uh, one of the great spirits that we honor and acknowledge in my culture is the tree spirit. Yes. Our trees not only carry breath, but the spirit of wisdom as well. Connecting with this spirit is a powerful and meaningful practice. Spray this ritual spray anytime you want to bring the energies of the tree spirit into your sacred spaces. I just brought all kinds of tree into my space just now with that. Oh, it smells so good. I wish you would have told me what, what I'm smelling. I don't know. It smells good. Love it. Okay. Now we have, and she talked about it earlier. This is hilarious. My last name used to be the same as this lady's last name. <laughs> the, the, okay. So basically we have a book and it's called, uh, Sacred Practices for Everyday Life, Kindling the Native Spirit. It's by Denise Lynn. So L-I-N-N. And that's how, so <laughs> I've been married twice. Um, my second husband, it was an oopsie. It was like short-lived, <laughs> but my last name used to be Lynn, L-I-N-N. And I felt like I, I sounded like a porn star, Lisa Lynn. <laughs> Um, yeah, I wasn't, I'm, I've never been a porn star, but that's what it sounded like. So, okay, let's, let's get, let's get on track, Lisa. <laughs> okay. Kindling the Native Spirit book written by Denise Lynn, my sister, um, international lecturer and healing, no healer, healer. Denise Lynn is a member of the Cherokee Nation and has gained wisdom from native cultures around the world, including the Zulu in Africa, the Mori in New Zealand and the Abor Aborigines of Australia, as well as Native American tribes in North America. In this groundbreaking book, Denise reveals the power of ancestral wisdom to uncover your authentic self and your connection to others in the earth. When you ignite your native spirit, your intuition and sense of self expand exponentially. Gateways to spiritual realms open and life force energies fills you. Denise shares much of the wisdom she's received over the years from revered teachers, as well as the benefits of incorporating ancient practices and techniques into the modern day world. You'll learn how to discover your true name and awaken spirit within you. Connect with your personal spirit animal. Yes. Um, embark on spirit journeys and experience vision quests. In addition, there are step-by-step -step instructions on how to make a drum, a rattle, a dream catcher, and your own medicine bag. Denise also will also help you unearth secret methods to call upon your ancestors for assistance and guidance. Learn how to shape shift, tap into your ability to call animals, plants, and spirit, harness the power of medicine, of the medicine wheel to bring healing and wholeness, and much more. Ignite your native spirit within and enter a wondrous realm of profound visionary experiences. Ah, oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> and there is a matching deck. Dude. Okay, so obviously it's it's the same thing. Native spirit, oracle cards. Where's my... Okay. Open this. And it goes along with this book. And it's by the same person, of course. All right, Native American Oracle, no, no, this is a quick make it up shit. Uh, Native Spirit Oracle deck. Uh, this 44 card deck with companion guidebook holds the keys to unlocking a wondrous realm where you'll discover what destiny has in store for you. These Oracle cards were birthed at the base of a sacred mountain and they carry the mystical energy that surrounded their birthing. Each card opens a gateway so that you can powerfully and immediately discern your own unique secret message from the universe. Let's see. So there is the front, got the back there. Oh, I just think these are gonna be so pretty. Okay, so the guidebook is a nice little book. I'm assuming it's, yeah, it's black and white. Um, excuse my nails, guys. I <laughs> I did the dip. I'd never done it before. Um, so these are actually my real nails. Like, my nails are as long as this or whatever. But the dip is so thick. Like, look at this. Like, there's new growth right here. But the, the, the polish or whatever, the dip is, like, still perfect. But I, like, peeled some of it off. <laughs> and then I cut my nails down. I've got, like, three that came up <laughs> that I peeled off. Um, but anyways, I was going to go get them done today, but yeah, I kind of overslept. I don't know. What time is it? 
Oh, I think they close at seven. I can't go. Okay, whatever. All right, so the backs of these are like this. All right, so we've got Ancestors, whoops, Ancient Forest, Answering the Call, and of course we will call, we will, uh, we'll, we'll draw one in a minute and I'll read about it. They're kind of sticking together. Uh, circle of Life, the Circle of Life, okay, don't sing Lisa, nobody wants to hear that, <laughs> Dream Traveler. Eagle Medicine, Elder, Flowing River, Freedom Horse, Gathering Your Tribe, Grandfather Sky, Grandmother Earth, Oops, Great Mystery, Medicine Bag, Medicine Woman or Medicine Man. So making sure it's not sticking together. Nature Spirits. Oh, I like this one. Offerings. Ooh, Owl Medicine. I like me some owls. Peace Pipe. I did smoke like a peace pipe. Um, in that in the uh, in the thingamajigger that I did. <laughs> Pray, what? Prayer Feather. Sacred Mountain. Shapeshifter. Smudging Ceremony. Song of the Wild. Spirit Keeper of the East. Spirit Keeper of the North. Spirit Keeper of the South, and Spirit Keeper of the East. Cool, Spirit of the Spirit of Air, so we've got our elements now. Spirit of Earth, Spirit of Fire, Fire. Spirit of Water, Storyteller, Sweat Lodge, yay. I, I think I'm cool that I did that. <laughs> Talking Stick, Thunder Drum, Tracker, Tribal Spirit Dance, Trickster, Vision Quest, Walking in Beauty, Warrior of the Heart, White Buffalo and Wounded Healer. Very nice. Okay, let's let's draw a card today and see what message we need to receive. What do we I already felt? I already felt one coming through. Okay, Wounded Healer. Let's read about it. Hopefully these are in like alphabetical order. Yes, they are. Yay, thanks. It's gonna be at the end. Wounded Healer. All right. Healing energy, vitality, and life force energy are flowing through you and to you. You are a healer, and you provide healing for others, even if you're not conscious of it. I mean, I'm a nurse. <laughs> I'm kind of conscious of that. <laughs> uh, whatever needs healing in your life is being resolved. Yeah, okay, well, I do need healing in my life. <laughs> yes, it's resolved. Uh, your so-called faults are becoming your virtues. Oh my God, this is so speaking to me. <laughs> no matter what happened to your past, the past does not need to equal your future. It's true, the cracks can be where the light enters the soul. All right, your native spirit wants you to know. The wounded healer is a tradition in native cultures that asserts that some of the greatest healers are those who have gone through hardship and survived or who have been wounded and healed. It's believed that these individuals can provide great solace and can in instigate profound healing for others. You may have been wounded in your life or you may have gone through challenging times, but the roots go deepest where the wind blows strongest. You are a healer in the most profound sense of the word. 
Healing energy is surging through you. Whatever in your life needs healing is being addressed on the inner realms. Your strength lies in the difficulties that you've overcome. The journey. List each of your wounds. Oh, I love this. So we're gonna they're gonna give us like a action step. Um, list each of your wounds or challenges from the past. Then next to each one, write down what came out of that situation that was of benefit. Additionally, repeat again and again, I'm a healer and I am healed, so be it. I love that. Um, like, if, if it gives you, like, that's what, when I do a tarot reading, I don't like just to be like, here's what's going on. All right, bye. You know, like, I want to give you an action step. Like, like you're wanting something, and that's why you're asking this question, right? You're wanting, like, an end result. So I want to give you an action step at the end. What do you need to do to get to that point, right? So I love, I love that they're giving us action steps and little journal prompts there, which is really good for your soul. So that is it, y'all. That is our Native Spirit box from Sacred Space Crate for August 2022. I would love to hear what you guys think. If you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up and leaving me that comment, it really helps out my channel. And hey guys, if you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button and the notification, notifi what? No, mm -mm. notification, the notification bell. The notification bell. Okay, if you, <laughs> so you don't miss any of my videos. <laughs> So, and thank you guys to the ones that have already subscribed to me. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you coming back every time and making my day with your comments and all that good stuff. So, until next time, guys, have a great day. Bye.